Hi guys, Sal here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to reroute Integrity Toys Dolls. So this tutorial is going to be good for Poppy Parker, New Face, Fashion Royalty, Big Toiru, any other doll that's from Integrity Toys that has like the harder head. So I really hope you find this tutorial useful and let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Here we have a before and after of our reroute and I think she came out looking fantastic. I really love the length and the hair color now, so let's talk about what we need. We're going to need our hair from ResortDoll.com. We're going to need our doll, that's kind of like the big thing and the most important part of our tutorial. We're going to need our heating pad. Mine's really old and raggedy, it's from Walmart, so it doesn't have to be from Walmart, but mine was from there. And we're also going to need our pliers, we're going to need a doll needle, and I'm going to leave a link on what kind of doll needle to get. We're going to need our tweezers and I'm going to leave a link also on what kind of tweezers to get. A flat screwdriver, a cheap screwdriver from the dollar store Walmart, some scissors that my friend Reese got me, those are from Walmart as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so first we're going to set our heating pad to level 3 so that the head can be taken off the body. This is the first step. And when you do this, make sure you turn the head sideways because you don't want their eyelashes to get messed up or, you know, get into some kind of misshape. So yeah, put it in between the heating pad, go ahead and close it up. Again, I apologize, it's a really old heating pad, but you know, it's been really loyal, so I kept her around. <laughs> so after your doll's head is soft, you know, just kind of feel it and see how soft it is now. Yep, it's pretty soft. So hold that, that neck really tight, hold it super tight, and you can go ahead and pop the head right off. As you can tell, maybe the head wasn't so soft when I took it off this time, but you know, it came off. That's all that matters, right? Just make sure you're gentle with it. Okay, so now we have our head, and be really careful not to scratch the face. You can kind of see that the scissors went in there a little bit, but that's because I was recording. Thankfully, it didn't do anything to the head. So yeah, just kind of start cutting it all off. You might have to start off um, cutting it kind of like at a longer length while well, you can get closer to it. I feel like she looks a little bit like David Bowie with this hairdo and it's really dope but my client for this head wanted something completely different and while I don't do commissions anymore, um, she actually commissioned me a long time ago so this doll was overdue for a reroute. So, you know, just getting, getting there really close, cut the hair really short so that you can make the process of removing the hair a lot easier. And yeah, you can see me just cutting, cutting away, and that's gonna be really close to the actual head so that, you know, when you get in with the screwdriver, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, it, it's easier to get it off. So before we get in there with the screwdriver and start scraping the hair out, I know some people like to use uh, skinny pliers to get the hair out, I pers personally think that that takes way too long, so what I like to do is I put the head back on the heating pad and I soften it more because if you go in there with a the screwdriver while the head is hard, that's that could potentially cause some damage. So what I did there was I basically heated the head, I got the head out and it's squishy and nice. So now get your flat screwdriver and you just like kind of feel it from inside and see how how you're scraping the hair out in a gentle manner because you really what you really really don't want to do is get in there hard and potentially break it okay so we're just gonna keep scraping 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 and you might have to do this in breaks because if you do it all at once the head's probably gonna get hard again by the time you keep scraping so if you need to just pop her right back on the heating pad and then as you get softer just keep scraping and we're almost done here and once you get to the part the parting it's actually gonna be really hard so you you again you might have to cut it even closer to the scalp so that you can remove the hair easier and you really have to be gentle with it because I've seen a lot of cases where people where I even have split the <laughs> vinyl from being too hard on the part so just be really gentle with it and get all that hair out and I'm about to show you how to take it out so you might have to do this in, in a slower process 
but you know as you keep scraping out and this hits really had a lot of play because you can tell that the neck feels a little scratched but that's because it hits really old and yeah so let's go ahead and get, keep getting that residue out of the neck hole and you know get it all out so you can have a clean careless head i guess it will, it will, it will gonna put it like that so here we have our clean head after i got all the hair out it's perfect so let's go ahead and keep working on this so the hair that i got i got from restoredoll.com and they're really good service and really good quality hair they're my go-to and again i'm not sponsored i just really like their product and what we want to do is get the hank out and we're going to tie it on both ends because we're going to cut it in half so let's go ahead and cut it in half let's cut it in two actually that would be a better way to put it so yep we cut it in two and now what we're going to do is we're going to put away the hank that we're not going to work with for the moment so the reason that i do this is so that i don't get the hair tangled so that it doesn't go somewhere that it doesn't need to so just put it in your little bag and work with the section that you should be working with and some people like to wet the hair so that it's easier to go into the needle and it's easier to keep it together i personally don't but again that's because i have a lot of experience rerouting but i do think that it might be good for you to damp the hair not really wet it damp the hair a little bit and yeah so let's go ahead and get our first plug and you guys when you do this make sure that you don't count the actual plug but just kind of estimate i think around 15 to 20 plugs is good please don't count them just kind of go based off um a plug that you may see on one of your current dolls and that should give you a good idea of how thick the plug should be so again some people like to damp the hair wet it a little so that they can get it through the needle hole and as you can tell i didn't even get all the hair out but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. What you really have to realize is that you do it on a way that works for you. And I actually like to start on the corner of the doll's head. And it doesn't have to be the right side or the left side. I just, I don't know, for some reason I like to start my way there. And then I like to work towards the front of the head. And then I like to make my way back towards the back of the head. So yeah. It, and again, you don't have to put it on each hole necessarily i just like to do so because i like to reread the doll sticker for my clients if it, if it was my dolls i would skip a little bit and as you can tell i just knotted the end of the head of the head of the plug and some people like to do two knots on their plug i personally only like to do one because i think that's good enough and that's why it's called the knot method <laughs> so as you can tell i've already worked my way through the front of the head and I'm going to keep working on the plugs. And I'm going to show you some patterns patterns at the end of the video. And hopefully that's going to help you guys um, figure out how to, you know, put the hair in there. But again, you don't have to fill each single hole. You got to do it based on what works for you, you know. And as you get towards the back of the head, like I pointed out right there, you know, I can show you that video actually right now. You make sure you use a heating pad because you don't want to split the vinyl from forcing the needle back there too much. Okay, guys, so here we have our part already, and she's looking amazing. So I'm going to show you more about that on the patterns later. But basically, you just reroute a straight line across, and then after you reroute your or root your whole row of hair on where you want your part, you're going to get another plug and basically instead of thatching the hair which you can do i like to put the hair a little bit past the parting like so like i'm doing in this video so watch me put the plug in there okay the needle's going through you guys okay so this could be a good um visual if you didn't catch it the first time so let's pull the needle out with the pliers Please, please use your pliers. You, you do not want to get your hands hurt or injured from pulling too hard and putting too much effort on your hands. So there we're doing our knots. So again, your knots don't have to be perfect because it's going to be inside the head. Who's going to notice anyway, you know? And then we're going to pull it to the other side of where we did our part. So 
what we're basically doing after we do one row, we're going to go a little bit to the other side of the row and we're going to pull our plugs to the other side. And again, I'm going to keep doing this so that I can show you how I'll do it. So I'm just going to get that other plug right there. Okay, so far so good, you guys. Come on out, come on out. Okay, so like I said, you're going to go over the row that you just rooted and get that needle inside. And that one's a little stubborn. And you might bump into an actual plug that you've done already. But if you feel like you're going through a plug that you did already, just kind of move it a little bit. And then you can move it somewhere else where it's not the plug. So, yeah, I'm going to do my knot again. And then I pull it to the other side of where the row was usually done the first time. So we're just going to keep doing that till it's nice and thick. And let's see the result. Oh, before I do that, let me show you my Steamfast steamer. And it doesn't have to be a Steamfast steamer. Ed Boy Doll, Edgardo Ramirez actually showed me this technique. I don't like to uh, do boil washes on my dolls because I feel like it's too damaging to the hair. So what I like to do is get a steamer and kind of just like steam the hair so that I can set it in place. And this is actually a lot healthier for the doll hair. I will probably do a boil, boil wash when I show you how to curl doll hair. If you guys want to watch that tutorial, please comment below and I'll totally do it. So after you use the steamer, you kind of just brush it and yeah, it's so much healthier for the doll. That way you don't keep it in that boiling water and that way it doesn't get damaged because even doll hair can get damaged. You have to be gentle with it. So what I'm doing now is I'm steaming the face. This is not the actual doll that I showed you the first time. This one had rougher eyelashes. I actually rerouted both of them. And what I'm doing is I'm brushing the eyelashes because she had really rough eyelashes. And you use this dental brush and it totally does wonders on those eyelashes. Guys, it it makes them look so much nicer and in place. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so this is the final result. I really love how she came out. The hair is so silky and smooth and... I really love that I used the steamer. My client actually prefers his dolls to have really long hair. If it was up to me, I would trim the split ends, but he likes it super long, so we kept the most that we could. And this is how long it's gonna be. Hey guys, so here we have our blank Eugenia head, and if your doll has the plugs where you wanna put your plugs for your new uh, hair, just a different hair color, then you don't really need to watch this part just gonna like skip over it this is more if you want to do a different hairstyle than the one that they come with so for a needle part you can use a needle and put it in between the nose and take it all the way up and then that's how you know where your middle part's gonna be you can go ahead and mark it like i'm gonna show you in the next picture and after you mark your middle part what you want to do is you want to reroute right next to the part marking and then take the hair over to the other side and then vice versa. Take the hair that you rooted on the other side of the split and then take it on the other side. And now this is the standard side part and a lot of dolls come with a side part. It's just a line that you take almost all the way back and then you do the same thing. You reroute a line next to the part and then another line next to the part and just kind of like bring it over on each side. So this is gonna be for two ponytails what you want to do is you want to bring the middle part all the way back or if you want to do side part ponytails then you're going to bring it all the way back as well just in a different location and you're going to do this all the way back so this is a standard pattern for bangs and you're basically just going to do your standard rerouting except you're going to do a middle part and you're going to take some sides to the side so that you can do your bang pattern that way. This is going to be the standard pattern for a lower rooting for any kind of part you want to do, side part, ponytail. It's going to work for all of them. And let's go ahead and go into the next slide. This is going to be also the standard rooting. But again, when I root a new doll, I kind of go with the holes that are already there. I just usually just make a new pattern if I'm doing bangs or a different kind of part. So 
that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching my tutorial i hope that you guys find it useful and if you have any questions you know hit me up on the dms on instagram and yeah i really hope you found this tutorial useful thanks for watching guys